Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. We're very close to finishing up our lessons on surveying. So just before we do a few uh, practical problems uh, after we've gone through some of the theory on plane table surveying in the last few lessons, I just need to teach you one more thing and that's called back bearings or reverse bearings. So let's say that I have a point which I'm going to call A and I have a point that I'm going to call B and if I want the bearing of B uh, from A what that means is I need to get a, a compass or a protractor okay I need to get a protractor and let me just uh, redraw this Okay, so I need to go from the north. Okay, so this is the north. From the north, what is the angle from A to B? Okay, so what is this angle right here? And according to the protractor, the angle is 70 degrees. So I can say the bearing of B from A is 70 degrees. Now notice how I put a zero in front of the 70 because that is required when we talk about bearings because bearings can be usually up to 360 degrees. So that's why we need three digits. It's part of the convention. Now what is a reverse bearing? Reverse bearing simply means now that I've figured out the bearing of B from A or the bearing from A to B what is the bearing of A from B so what that means is I now need to find out uh, from B what is the angle what is the direction that I need to face in in order to go back to A, to go back in this direction. So I need to measure this angle from the north all the way to here. I need to know what that angle is. Now, what you would know from year nine, um, year nine geometry is that if I have a set of parallel lines, which is the case with these two um, straight lines they're parallel then this angle 70 this angle right here is going to be equal to this angle 70 okay using what we call um, the Z rule or um, some people call it um, alternate angles are equal so if that angle is 70 then the angle from here to here is simply 180 so the reverse bearing is simply 180 plus 70 which is um, 250 degrees so you don't need to measure again with the protractor so let's just do one more example Okay, so let's do these questions here. Find the bearing of L from K. So from K, so this point is where we measure the angle from K to L. So we measure it from the top. So the top is in the north. So all the way down to this angle here. And it tells me, the protractor tells me that the angle is about, so that's 230, 240, 250, a bit less than 250, so let's just say 238 degrees, 238 degrees. Okay, find the reverse bearing. Now, when the angle is bigger than 180, you can't actually add 180 to it, right? Because 180 plus 238, that'll give us a number that's too big. But let's just have a look at the reverse bearing. So from L, this is the north. This is the north. And if I want to go to K, I simply need to measure this angle. Because we're measuring 
the angle clockwise from the north. So the angle, what is it? Well, if this angle all the way here is 238, and we know that, so if I draw a vertical line down, we know that this angle is the same as this angle. Okay, we know that this angle is the same as this angle, which means I simply subtract 238, which is this whole thing there. I subtract 238 from 180, because 180 is this little bit, is 180. So I sub subtract 238 uh, by 180, and then I will be left with this little angle here. So minus 180, and what's the answer there? 58 degrees. So this little angle is 58. I should go back to dark blue again. This little angle is 58 degrees, so this angle, theta, must be equal to 58 degrees. So what is the general rule for calculating reverse bearings? If the forward bearing is smaller than 180, which is our first case, okay, the forward bearing is smaller than 180. The forward bearing was 70 degrees. If the forward bearing is smaller than 180, add 180 degrees to calculate, to obtain the back bearing. If the forward bearing is bigger than 180, subtract 180 degrees to get back bearing. Okay, I know you're going to ask, well, what if the forward bearing is 180? Well, then it doesn't matter if you add or subtract because you're going to get either 0 or 360, which is basically um, north and south. So you'll see that. So anyway, let's try it one more time. So if I have one point and the bearing to the other point is, let's say... I'm not going to use a protractor, let's say 300 degrees. So from this point, I'm going to call it point A. A to B is 300 degrees. As you can see, this angle is 300 degrees. Then from B to A, because it is bigger than 180, what do we do? We subtract 180 should give us 120 degrees. So if you have a look from here, this angle is a bit bigger than 90. So yeah, that's 120 degrees. Okay, so these are your back bearings. And now let's do a quick practical problem to do with surveying, combining everything we have learned. Okay, so this is a surveyor's uh, map that was constructed using a particular method of plane table surveying. So the first question would be, which technique of plane table surveying was used? Okay, so it can't be radiation, because if it's radiation, then you would have a central point, let's call it point A, and all the other points around it would be connected to the central point. All right, so it looks a bit like a star formation. That's not the case here. There is no central point. So it's not radiation. Now, if it's the traversing method and there were five points, what would happen is you would move the table to each of these points and you would draw a survey uh, line of sight so then you would move the table to the next table next point and you draw a line of sight and so on so if it was traversing it would look like this but that's not the case again here so it's not traversing so what method is it it's triangulation 
Why is it triangulation method? Why is that the method? Because you can see that I have point A, point B. This is a survey line. Okay, this is a survey line, and I have line of sight from each of these points, um, the end of the survey line, to each of the other points. Right, so I have line of sight to X, line of sight to Z, line of sight to Y, and same thing happening at B. So it is the triangulation method was used. So that's the correct answer. Okay, next question. So I'm gonna measure、um, the length from A to Z with the ruler that I just spent ages getting. So it's 5.5 centimeters. So if it's 5.5 centimeters, get rid of the ruler now. <clears throat> 5.5 centimeters. The scale factor is 200. So times that by 200, and then I will get 1,100 centimeters in real life, which is the same as 11 meters. So the length from A to Z is 11 meters from A to Z. Okay, question three is a question that we're gonna make use of what we just learned previously in this lesson. If the bearing of、uh, B from Z, so from Z is where Z, the Z is where we draw the angle. So from here, from Z to B. Um, the angle is 170. All right, heading down to point B. What is the bearing from B back to Z? So from B we have the north, and we're gonna go clockwise around all the way back to, all the way to the line going to Z. So the angle is gonna be 170. Now 170 is smaller than 180, so we're gonna plus 180. And the answer is three hundred and fifty degrees. All right, so that's the back bearing. Okay,、um, question four. Find the area of triangle AZB. So we want this area. If AB is thirteen meters. A to B is 13 meters, and the angle、um, ZAB, so ZAB, so that's the angle right here at point A, is 20 degrees. Okay,、I'll、make it a bit darker. 20 de. Oh, can't see it. So this angle right here, this angle right here is 20 degrees. Okay, so then we would use area of a triangle equals half AB sine C. So A and B that's eleven and thirteen. So that's half times eleven times thirteen times sine twenty. Put all of that into your calculator, and the answer is twenty four point four five. Square meters. Okay, so this concludes our series of lessons on、um, surveying. I hope you guys have learnt something from all of this.、Uh, if you still need more help, you should be able to read the textbook on your own now, given this much information. So,、uh, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you do well on your exams. See you next time.